My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today we have six new team MVPs in the game. We also have a new house rules, which it's honestly pretty crazy what it is, but I could not be more excited for these new MVPs. And you guys know why? Because we actually got the Cowboys MVP, Ezekiel Elliott. Could not be more excited for this one. Obviously, you guys will be seeing a gameplay later today. Without a doubt, I will be having Zeke Elliott gameplay uh, later. Now, in terms of the set, I'm not going to be doing the set. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these packs for you guys today. And trying to pull Zeke as NAT. That way I can keep him on the squad and power him out. Get him to 99 overall. And obviously, that gameplay is going to be amazing. With the all-time Dallas Cowboys team, I cannot wait to push that out for you guys later today. Now, we do also have some other players as well. Um, in terms of offense, we have Brandon Cooks is the Rams, which I didn't know if he was going to be it because he already has a 95, I want to say. But they decided to go with Brandon Cooks. Also, we got Alvin Kamara as a new MVP as well. I haven't seen his stats yet, but I think he's going to be an absolute beast. And I think the rest are over on defense. So take a look at the defense side of things. We now have a new D Ford, and we also have Pierre Desir. And I believe that is all of them. Unless I'm missing one. I, I'm pretty sure it's everyone. No, Trey Flowers as well. So we got Trey Flowers as the MVP for the Patriots, which honestly I didn't know if it was going to be him because he didn't move. But Trey Flowers, Pierre Desir, uh, D Ford, Zeke, Kamara, and there's one more that I'm blanking out for some reason. I can't remember what his name was, but you guys know who it was. Uh, we have six new team MVPs, Brandon Cook. So that's the six new team MVPs, and it's Tuesday. So, when are we going to get the rest? I don't know, but at least we have those. Now, we also do have a new limited time event in the game you guys want to go ahead and play. And, of course, this is actually going to be uh, the, like 10 wins. So, it doesn't matter if you go 6-0. doesn't matter if you go in here, you win 3, and then you lose 1. But, if you guys just win 10 games total, you get yourself a Team MVP NAT pack. That's right. You get yourself a free Team MVP that is pretty freaking awesome. I, now, I don't know if it's going to be a fantasy pack or not. Um, it just says Team MVP in a team pack. So, I don't know if it is fantasy or not. But, all you have to do is get 10 total wins. You guys can go in here. You can win 6. You can lose the rest. It doesn't matter. As long as you just go in here, you can win 1, lose 1, win 1, lose 1. Just get 10 wins. And then, uh, obviously, you guys can't do it twice to get the Team MVP. So, if you win 10 games already, you can't come back through and win another 10 and get another MVP. Uh, but if you guys do happen to win, you know, a certain amount of games in a row, it says right here, six wins gets you 40,000 coins, 20 series trophies, and you guys can see the list, but obviously, you just want that team MVP. Now, the actual rules of this house rules event are actually a little bit weird. So, a two-point conversion is worth eight points. So, if you guys score a touchdown, and then you go for two, say you do a fake field goal or something, uh, yeah, that's eight extra points. So if you get a touchdown and you get the two-point conversion, it's actually going to be worth 14 points. So it's like scoring two touchdowns and two extra points uh, if you just get the two-point conversion. So that's actually really, really cool. So let's go ahead, open up some of these NAT packs, and try to get my man Zeke Elliott. And then, of course, we'll check the auction box trying to find these new guards. I just say new guards. It's not like I said new guards. New cards for the team MVPs. We're going to start off, though, with... Oh, Trey Flowers is actually a new one, though. So, Trey Flowers has 82 speed, 90 excel. He's got 96 block shed, 97 power move with a 94 tackle, 92 strength, 96 play rec. That's a really, really good card. I got to say, Patriots fans, uh, if you've been waiting for that, or Lions fans now, I guess, if you've been waiting for a Trey Flowers card, that's actually a very, very solid defensive end, I'd say. Next one, though, let me get Zeke. Ah, we get Joel, Joel Batonio, Joel Batonio, whichever one. I'm going to keep ripping these until we get my man Ezekiel Elliott. And then, of course, we will check the auction box for any cards that I happen to not pull during this process. And take a look at their stats as we get Zeke. We got Zeke on the third pack. Let's go, man. So we got Ezekiel Elliott. And obviously, I'm going to be powering this man up all the way. Take a look at his base stats. 
He's got 96 speed, 95 excel, 97 agility, 99 or 96 carrying, uh, 72 catching, 92 elusiveness, 83 truck, and a 94 break tackle. Obviously, this man's going to have 99 speed, 99 excel on my all-time Dallas Cowboys team. With an 83 strength, he's got 97 agility. Uh, spinning juke, he's got 91 jumping. He's got 92 elusiveness. He's got a 92 stiff arm, 96 spin, 93 juke move. Oh, man, you guys know I'm so excited about this. And round running wise, gets a couple of stat boosts there as well. So let's go ahead, power this man up. Oh, man, I, I'm so excited for this. You guys probably know how long I have been asking for a new Zeke. I obviously want a new Dak too, but uh, Zeke's my favorite player. Need him. Let's go ahead and power this man up, though, on the all-time Dallas Cowboys team. Yeah, there, I figured there'd be a little training thing here. 4,000 training up there. And then take him up to a 98 overall Ezekiel Elliott. Man, this card is going to be disgusting. So what camps can we put on him now? Okay, so we can we put zone run times 4? We can. Okay, so I'm going to put zone run times 4 on him. Uh, get that up a little bit. So now we're over the tier 5. And then we actually get another ability. So are you energized on him? What should I go with? I guess never stumble. So I'm going to have energized and never stumble on my man, Zeke Elliott. So let me know the stats now. Hey guys, this is the all-time Dallas Cowboys team. So obviously I have the Cowboys chem completely chemmed out. He's got 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 carrying, 99 agility, 75 catching with a 95 elusiveness. He also has an 84 trucking and a 96 break tackle. God, I'm excited to play with this card later today. He also has a 87 strength, 75 catch, still really good. What's his spin and juke on the team? 99 and 98 with a 94 stiff arm. Holy crap. Oh man, I cannot be more excited. I mean, he's got spec catch of a 70, catch traffic 73, route ring's very good as well. We got the new 99 overall, Ezekiel Elliott on the squad. And of course, I will be dropping this gameplay with him later today, so be on the lookout for that. I pulled Zeke, so let's go ahead and just open up some more packs now with these random team builders. I checked the auction block. It looks like none of the new cards are up just yet. So let's go and try and pull some of them out of these team builder packs. You get 80 overall, Caleb Bennett. Ben and Notch right there, I think is how you say his name. But honestly, I did not expect to get Zeke that early. I believe that was only the third pack there. And we finally got Zeke. There's a ton of MVPs in packs now. And with them just adding six new ones, that makes these packs, at least I hope, a little bit better value. Or uh, I guess better odds upon a team MVP. Even though I did like 50 of these packs or 25 of these packs yesterday, it, it, it didn't go so good. Uh, I'll say that. It definitely did not go too good with me trying to pull a team MVP. But... If you guys just do the NAT pack and you keep re-rolling uh, re that to get the one that you want, we get a team MVP. We get 97 Joel Batonio out of this random team builder pack. Wow. All right. Well, we got a team MVP. We got Joel Batonio. He's got 90 straight, 98 pass block, 95 run block. Obviously can't use him on the all-time Cowboys team. Might sell him. Might just quick some for the scouts. But let's go ahead, I guess, open up some more packs now that I'm saying that we can't pull an MVP. We actually get one. Joe Batonio, not bad. Let me get another. No? Okay, I'll take it, though. Uh, we get 80 overall, Nick O'Leary. We'll do about maybe three or four more packs. And then we'll check the auction box, see if we can find these new cards like the Brandon Cooks and everyone. We already saw what Trey Flowers stats look like. And honestly, if the rest of them are looking pretty comparable to Trey Flowers in terms of how good they are, these, these cards today are actually pretty solid, I gotta say. Uh, Trey Flowers looks good. Obviously, Zeke looks amazing on the all-time Dallas Cowboys team. Now, how many people are actually going to be picking him up, though, that don't have the Cowboys team? Not sure. I mean, his stats look really, really good. I got to say that. Uh, comparing him to Saquon, stacked up pretty well as well. But there's just so many good running backs in the game right now. I don't know how many people are actually going to use Zeke Elliott unless you're rocking out with the all-time Cowboys team or you already haven't powered up a final pack here. And unfortunately, we ended off with an 81. But we did pull an MVP, so I can't be mad. So as you guys can see, we also have the other team MVPs up. Here's D40. He's got 90 speed. Wow. With a 91 acceleration. Only has an 86 strength and 89 block shed. But he also has a 97 finesse move, 89 tackling, 92 play rec as well with a 58 catch. And he's got a jumping of an 89. And he's got a zone of an 84. That's actually not bad. And he's got a hit power as well of a 90. So this D4 is actually a pretty good card. Uh, I don't think he stacks up Lawrence Taylor, though. Pierre Desir, 93 speed, 96 excel, 94 man, 97 zone, 93 agility. Uh, he's got 82 catch, 92 jumping. Card doesn't look bad. 64 block shit, which is actually really good. 
and a 61 hit power. He's six foot two. That's not a bad guard. That's not a bad guard at all. Uh, we already saw Trey Flowers stats. Offensively, though, um, I don't think we have any of new cards up with Brandon Cooks and Kamara. So let me check on my head real quick, or just sort of my wide receiver. Let's see if it pops up there. Can I get Cooks? Looks like no. Uh, let me sort my running back and see if Alvin Kamara is up. I have checked Twitter, and it looks like people are not too excited about this new Alvin Kamara stats, though. But let me check on my head. But as you guys can see, here are Brandon Cook's stats. He's got 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 98 agility. He's got 96 catch, 93 catch of traffic, 95 spectacular catch with a 95 short, 94 medium, and a 95 deep route run. Also has a 90 release. Uh, he's got 80 spin. That's... Oh, that's bad. 84 juke move, 92 looseness, 96 ball carry vision with a 66 remote. So pretty good catching stats, but he can't spin, which is uh, a pretty big issue. And then Alvin Kamara, he is 93 speed. That's what people were pretty upset about on Twitter is the fact that Kamara only has 93 speed. But besides the speed, he's got 97 excel, 97 agility. Uh, he's got 97 looseness, 95 juke, 94 spin, 91 carrying, 84 trucking with a 96 break tackle and an 83 catch. Very good catch. So uh, besides the speed, card looks pretty good. Now, obviously, if you're rocking out with, like, the all-time Saints team and you have Kamara powered up, put Sprinter on him, have John Madden, you get up to 99 speed still. So, if you're not rocking the Saints team, it might be a little bit hard for you to get his speed up a lot. But, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I will be having that 99 overall Ezekiel Elliott gameplay out for you guys later today. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.